Hey guys, so I look crusty. <laughs> it's because I am ready to go to bed, but I have to film day one of using Trentinoy. Still don't know if I'm saying it right, but let me know in the comments. I mean, this is the two. I already washed my face, I'm out of the shower. So I only have to use this at night. It, it says three times a week. So I'm starting today, Monday, Monday, Wednesday. And this is a lot. She says a pea size. Ooh. It doesn't smell weird. She did say that um, my experience dryness and leaky skin. Uh, the days when I'm not using it, I just really make sure to apply my moisturizer. That's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty fast. Uh, the only thing I kind of like pressed on the tube, causing ongoing amount of cream to be coming out so I don't, I don't know how to stop it and it pressed on it too much so look it's still coming out um, and every time I close it it squishes out the cream so I'm hoping it can improve my texture my acne scars um, yeah alright let me film the rest of the week for you guys you see we have redness and I just feel like my texture just shows so much more. See the difference, like red. Mm. And yeah, like I'm telling you, whenever I scratch or leave two little tiny beads, I think it's like sebum. That's what it's called. But yeah, I just feel like my my pores are just so much more congested. After you do it, I'm gonna see how it goes, and I'll catch you guys later. For next week and i'm using makeup for the first time after applying you know the church and night my skin looks trash like, patchiness and i have my texture just looks uh so much more and i've been seeing like so much more sebum it is a new day uh it's monday so i just wanted to pop in show you how my skin is doing it's really sunny right now and i want to show you how my face looks like um, from like the heat it's just it's really red right now i can definitely see the difference um right it's like everything <laughs> like you can tell it's crazy but don't worry it, i look shiny right now because i have sunscreen on and i just went outside to take my break from work Super red. You can tell like my skin tone. <sighs> it worries me because I don't want to look like this all the time. But it's a new week, so now this time I'm gonna try to do three times a week, and I'm gonna apply the retinol today at night time, and I'm definitely gonna show you how that is looking so far. Okay, it is night time. Time to put on some retinol. Uh, this amount for my whole face. That is that. I'm always hesitating on how often to apply this cream because I notice that my skin is just really red if i work out my face gets super red if i go outside in the sun my face gets really red and applying this cream has just increased my pigmentation i don't like it um and i'm trying to be careful i try to remember to put sunscreen every day even if I'm in a rush to go to work. I still try to put sunscreen. But tomorrow, main priority. Okay, guys, it is nighttime. You already know the drill. Skin just looks the same. I still get breakouts. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. I think I put a lot this time a 
not seeing major results, but we're being optimistic. I mean, hey, the doctor prescribed this for some for some reason. Talk to you guys tomorrow, finally, on uh, just how everything is. Okay, skin check time. Uh, final thoughts. Well, my current thoughts on using my tretinoin. Let me give you a little skin update. Still have my lovely scarves. They're, they're here. This little buddy is like an underneath. It's like a, it's underneath. And I hope you can see this. I had some pimples throughout this time. And I still do get blackheads. Yeah, overall, not much of a difference. <laughs> I want to see if I still have a lot of clogged pores because I think I have the world's biggest pores and they get congested so bad. So I just want to check what's in here, okay? If you don't want to watch extractions, uh, put a little text stamp where you can skip. So. I warned y'all, don't be saying nothing. I have some rubbing alcohol, sterilizing my instruments. I don't do this often, I just really wanna show you what's in this pore. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with my nose because that is the area where I get a lot. Clean between each time I try.
Okay, y'all saw my extraction. Surprisingly, it's not a lot compared to my other times that I've done extractions. I mean, my nose would be a lot. It would be beads after beads, but this time there wasn't a lot. As you can see in the paper towel, I'm amazingly surprised in a good way because that means then, you know, the tretinoin is doing something. Uh, but I will continue to keep using it. I'm really dying to try out different skincare products for you guys. Test it out, get my reviews, so stay on the lookout for that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Tretinoin. Have you guys used it? How's your journey? Um, things you recommend? Because so far, the sunscreen that I have been using, I either use two. I use this one. The Dr. Dark Plus Mineral Sunscreen. I actually bought a new one already. Sephora. It's $40. Um, but I just really like it. It mattifies my skin so much. And I have super oily skin. It does have a white cast. But for me, it sort of like benefits. Because my skin is so red. It just kind of sort of calms the redness down. Also, the Innisfree Sunscreen. I'll put a picture right here. Because I don't know where it's at. I think it's in my work bag. like that one too. That one doesn't give a white cast. And it's a little bit more creamier. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.